Hi guys, Tim here again, and I'm going to do another military review for today. And this is of my my collection of cat badges. And now, um, when I come to update the collection, it will be separate videos because I'm because I'm not going to bore you with all the same ones and the ones and some added on. So yeah, just saying that. So let's start the review. So first one, we're going to get this out of the way because you've already seen this in my first video in my. Um, in my uh, First World War tank history, brief tank history, is the tank or cat badge. Now, this is British. This was in, I'll say, certain army services. It was made from 1917 to 1922 for the British tank or cat badge um, in the First World War. And uh, it was, in, and it's slightly hard, difficult, rare, hard, uh, very rare from the call it to find a photograph of this guy wearing actually on his cap or hat uh, yeah the company is if you can just see it is Birmingham made in Birmingham sorry about that it's made in Birmingham just just there made in Birmingham so yeah it's um, original all original got this for 18 pounds got this for 18 pounds go for about 30 pounds but I got it down to 18 which I'm very lucky about so my next one is going to be the First World War German wound badge, original German First World War wound badge. This, of course, as the name suggests, would be given to the Germans in the First World War if they were wounded. There will be there's a series. There's this one, the infantry's model. There's a silver. There's a bronze, silver, and gold, and they're higher ranked. Um, the higher ranks. I'm um, a captain's. And, all, and corporals and officers and sergeants and all that. But yeah, this is just the normal infantry one, and it also has the uh, clip. Let's get out of it. The original clip. Original. Oh, original. Even just some of the like, there are some weird letters which actually I'm confused about. It's, it's quite hard to see on camera. But they're just in there. But yeah. It is, sorry about this, it is, it says a six, a six something, eight I think it does, just there. So yeah, cool. so original, I would date, I would date this uh, to 19, I would date this one to 1916. I would date this one to 1916. Um, so yeah, the prices of these are around about uh, only 15, 15, in between 15 and 30 is the same as the tank or cat badge. So yeah, and I got this, actually I didn't know, I did got the free, but yeah. Hey. So yeah, that's my Now my next one is the Second World War, and it hasn't got its clip. It's the Second World War, German wooden badge, you can tell it's Second World War, because it isn't, because it has the, the um, Schwarzenegger on there, which is there. And I can't see any, uh, uh, this is also a black one, it's just gone a bit, got a bit old over the years, of course. A swash screen there. But as you can see, um, slight difference. Slight difference, got black and black, but yeah, slight difference. The roundness and thinness. And yeah. Um, this. This will go for around about, oh, this one will go for around about, um, cat badges, second world war German cat badges will go around about in between 15 and 25 I would say most, most of these are 15 to 30 pounds I would just say but I would just say along the lines there is now there's one very similar to this but a bit bigger um, which is the 20th July wooden badge now on 20th no, July 20th 1944 it was the assassination against Hitler it was um, British servicemen, literally an American, part American, trying to actually assassinate Hitler and for the guards which were wounded, the soldiers at the time which were wounded, they got this but had 20th, had the name 20 July 1944 and it's ultra rare, I've only seen photos of it and fakes of it. I will spice in a picture of that to show you. So yeah, next one is my 
and one of my favourites is the King's Aurora Rifles cap badge, called cap badge, sorry. Um, and uh, sadly, it's been super glued. Cool. But yeah, this is the original world. This dates back to well, the King's Aurora Rifles cap badge dates back to 1881, I believe, or 1888. So that's it's gone from the head now, but I will get it back. 1881, sorry. And yeah, just your regular cap badge today, sharp, all sharp corners. You know. It has a little rose petal, a little horn in the middle there. A little king, as the kings, is at the time 1881. It would be King George, I think. One of the King Georges. And yeah, uh, you see some of the brass, because all these cap badges are either brass or metal. Either mostly brass, these ones are all these are brass, but brass is very good, of course, making artillery shells. So, yeah, this one and that this is the King's Rifles cap badge, core cap badge, and this will go for around about 14, only 14 pounds, only 14 up to 20 pounds, I'd say. This one is now my last one in my collection is the um, original. All original, of course, brass. So uh, this isn't, this isn't the original pin. I will show you the um, back side of the, the back side. Sorry, the back end of the of an original pin dot one. But the original pin would be sorry, is this? That is what the pin it used to look like down there. So basically, that would be fitted to there. But yeah, this is the um, machine gun core cap badge. Now this, um, now the this was 1915. The fun, the one to replace it is this. Uh -huh, yeah. The famous tank core cap badge actually replaced the machine gun core cap badge in, of course, 1916, 19, late 1916, early 1917, to mid 1917 as well. But yeah, there are I think one, two, about three or four series of this. There's this one, the normal machine gun called cat badge. And then you get the this but with an M M G which is most motorized machine gun call. Then you get D um you get M D V which is machine gun no you get N D V which is Naval Division machine gun called cat badge. So yeah this has the Kings, because at the time it would be King George the fifth, sixth. So it has the King's crown, of course. It has two Vicar machine guns, crossways. And it, and it has, this isn't the original pin. I've never actually taken this out. So yeah, not the original pin, but yeah, as you see, just thin, but made of brass. And this, of course, dates to 1915, as I said. All of these dates to the time of the. Well, of course, most of them apart from the Second World War, apart from the, what was this? apart from the Second World War, um, German wooden badge, all of them date to the First World War. Yeah. Because the King's, because the King's Royal Rifles cap badge, yeah, was the main um, infantry at the time, the main garrison at the time. Done. So yeah, that's the King's Royal Rifles. Uh, not the King's Royal Rifles, sorry. That's, it's the um, machine gun called Cap Badge, British. So, um, British, British, and British. And of course, German, and German. First World War, Second World War. So yeah, and this, and of course, it will go for around about 15, 15 to 20 pounds. 15 to 30 pounds, I'll say. 15 to 30 pounds. Um, yeah. So in all, if you're going to have an actual a proper original cat badge collection like I'm going to have in the future, it's going to be around roughly 50 to 100, 150 pounds if you collect original ones. So yeah, that has been my collection. I'll just give you more looks. Second World War German Ruiner badge. First World War German Ruiner badge. Machine gun called cat badge, first world war. Um, tank called cat badge, the nicest one. Brass, all brass. 
and brass is the King's Royal Rifles main infantry. So yeah, that has been my cat badge review. Bye.